Hello there. How are you? This is day three of the 88 days to manifest your best life. So we are on day three. And today we're going to talk about the simulation. Okay. Day three, we're going to talk about the simulation. Now I am sure you've probably heard from I don't know, have many people about that we're living in a matrix, right? We're living in a simulation and that, you know, everything that you have that you see around you is not real. That's just not real. That it is a, a fabric of an imagination. And actually what I want to share with you, it's a fabric of your own imagination. Okay. This is the result of what you have dreamed up. Also though, which a result of what's been dreamed up for you and been programmed into your brain for you to live in, for you to dream about. Okay. So we're going to chat about that simulation today. Now, if you're like, Lisa, that just sounds like the matrix. Well, it is. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. It It is. A lot of people will say that the matrix was more of a documentary than all, a matter of fact, all four of them, than it was um, a fictional uh, representation of someone's, you know, what they dreamed up one day. Um, and there's a lot of similarities. However, I'm going to tell you this too. If Even if you're a religious person, especially if you're a Christian and you've read like the Bible at all, there's a lot of different verses that talk about how this world is temporal, that it is temporary. And the temporal, the word temporal itself means subject to change, right? So that's how even again, in the Bible, we're told that we can speak to a mountain and that it moves and that we can, you know, speak to a tree and it will bloom or it will die or, you know, the power of life and death is in our tongue and that as a man thinketh, so is he, right? So we can see even from our religious teaching that in actuality, we're told everything we see around us is subject to change. It is a simulation. It can and will change. And you, you yourself have the power to change it, right? If you believe something in your heart, and we talked on day two about limiting beliefs, but there's also delimiting beliefs. There's also like beliefs that expand forever and ever and ever. There's also positive beliefs and that is born out of your imagination. So what I want you to do today, and this is like a super short kind of right here, right now, let's just think about this because I don't want you to dwell on this too long. I just want you to begin to accept it. I just want you to begin to accept the fact that you are living in a simulation and every Everything is subject to change. I mean, what's one of the most, I don't know, well-known sayings, right? The only constant in life is what? Change. So we intuitively know all of this, guys. This, I'm not saying anything to you that you don't already know. Isn't that beautiful? You already know all of this, okay? You know it in your heart. So what I want you to do is I want you to, to go back to day one right? We had all those visualizations. And what I want you to do is I want you to go back to day one visualizations, because we're going to keep coming back to that. Okay. And I hope every day what you're doing is you're practicing the process of, I thank you universe. I thank you, God. I thank you, you know, source for the last three months. I have had a million dollars in my bank account. I thank you, Source, for the last three months I've been in a wonderful, beautiful relationship that is loving and kind and supportive. I thank you, Source, for the last three months I've been living in my dream home. I thank you, Source, for the last three months I've had a highly successful, highly impactful business. I thank you, Source, for the last three months. I, I, I pray, I hope that you've been doing that for these past three days. And if you haven't, that's okay. You can start today, okay? And I want you to do something else. We'll talk about that again in a minute, but I want you to be doing that. So I want you to go back to those visualizations and I want you to go back and visualize them again. And this time, what I want you to do is once again, look at them, internalize them, speak them out if you need to, but I want you to see yourself on your own movie set, 
I want you to create your own movie. Matter of fact, you know what would be amazing for you to do is start to write your own screenplay. Oh my gosh, let's do that together, shall we? I want you to drop down in the comments and, and type in, I'm writing my screenplay. If you're going to come on this journey with me, I want you to type it down in those comments. I'm writing my screenplay. And I want you to write it. I want you to make yourself the main character. And then I want you to give yourself all of these things. And, and even in your screenplay, you know what? Maybe you can write the process a little bit of how it comes. You can write how you created your very successful business. You can write how you ended up getting that amazing promotion. You can write how you met the dream person of your life. You can write all these things. So write your own screenplay. Let's do that. What a fabulous idea. That just came to me. Write your own screenplay. Be your own main character. Be the hero or heroine of your own film. Because your imagination, that is reality. What you see before you can change in the blink of an eye. Okay? So start writing your screenplay. If you wanted to write, can you do that? Can you comment down below? Now, as you're going to comment, I want you to hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe, subscribe. And if you want to go on this journey with other people, you can hit that share button. But also, there's going to be a link somewhere in my bio or in the description, depending upon what platform you're watching this on, either in my bio or in the description, there's going to be a link to book some time to talk to me. And I want to start talking to you. Okay. I want to talk to you about what this new dream looks like for you and how my team and I can help you achieve that. All right. So write the screenplay, give me those comments. And then as you're writing the screenplay, you know, are you changing your name? Like what, what's going on? I want to start hearing about these screenplays. All right, guys. Now I'll see you tomorrow for day four. And we're going to continue on this journey. Okay. But never forget, give permission to your purpose to provide for your person. And we'll see you soon. Bye.